Good evening. I'd like to call the caucus to order. I'll ask for nominations for caucus chairman and caucus clerk. For those nominations, I will now recognize the chair of the Board of Selectmen, Jim Dolly. Thank you. I'd like to nominate James Rapetti and Beth McGuire for caucus chairman and caucus clerk. Are there any other nominations? Hearing none, I call for a voice vote for James Rapetti for caucus chair and Beth McGuire for caucus clerk. A voice vote? Aye. Aye. Jim, the floor is yours. Thank you, Felicia. This caucus is held under the provisions of Mass General Laws, Chapter 53, Sections 117 to 121. We have a town election scheduled for May 16, 2016, and our purpose tonight is to nominate a maximum of two candidates for each open office in that election. I would like the following procedure to apply. One, ballots must be cast and counted for those offices for which more than two candidates are nominated. The two persons receiving the highest number of votes shall be the caucus nominees. All nominees must receive the votes of at least 8% of those attending the caucus. Several years ago, we decided to allow the caucus clerk to cast a single ballot on behalf of the caucus in those instances where there are not more than two nominees and to count ballots only for those offices for which more than two persons are nominated. The person nominating a candidate must spend two minutes, or I should say, may spend, <laughs> up, <laughs> may spend up to two minutes speaking for his or her candidate. There are no seconding speeches, but I would like to hear a clear and concise second from the floor. The candidates will be introduced at the time of nomination and may speak briefly if they wish. I understand that there are a few candidates um, who are going to be nominated tonight who are not here. In that situation, I would like the person nominating the candidate to accept their nomination at the end of the process. If necessary, voting will occur after the completion of nominations for all offices to be filled. All nominees must accept the caucus nomination by signing the caucus certificate. Please do so before leaving the hall. If a nominee is not present tonight, he or she must sign the caucus certificate at the town clerk's office by Thursday, March 10th at 4 p.m. So that's Thursday, March 10th at 4 p.m. Are there any questions about this procedure? May I have a voice vote adopting the procedure for this caucus? All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Anyone who wishes to run for office may, as an alternative to seeking caucus nomination, secure nomination papers from the town clerk. They must be submitted to the Board of Registrars by March 30th, 2016, 1 p.m. 39 signatures of registered voters of the town of Dover is required. So again, that must be filed, the 39 signatures must be filed by March 30th, 2016 at 1 p.m. I would now like to briefly recuse myself because I have a conflict of interest with respect to the first nomination. I turn the podium over to Felicia Hoffman. Felicia. So we are looking for nominations for moderator. Please. Seven Cedar Hill Road. I would like to nominate James Rapetti for a one year term as moderator. Second. Jim is well qualified for this position. He's a Harvard graduate, graduate of Boston College Law School, where he is currently a professor. And I'm told a big favorite among the students. Most of you will know him from his previous. Nights at town meeting. This will be his fifth term as moderator. Jim is fair, reasoned, articulate, and a credit to our town. 
and I urge you to support him tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Peg, and uh, thank you for all coming tonight. Uh, as in prior years, I always look to you for guidance. If um, you feel that uh, a view isn't being fairly re represented at town meeting or you feel that we should be changing the procedure, always feel free to contact me to discuss that. I think the most important thing about town meeting is to make sure that everybody feels that they've had a fair opportunity to present their position. As I've said at the past five the five or six town meetings, counting the special town meetings we've had. It's very important that we're not going to agree with the outcome. As I've mentioned before, democracy requires that we disagree. But the most important thing is that we can disagree without being disagreeable and that we all fear, feel as though we've had a fair opportunity to present our views for consideration by the town. So thank you very much for your confidence. I appreciate it. I think you have to close the nominations there. there might be some others. Are there any other nominations? I declare the nominations closed for this position. Jim? Only a lawyer could appreciate this. <laughs> okay. Okay, the next position that we will be considering is one position for a three-year term with the Board of Selectmen. Are there any nominations for the Board of Selectmen? Mr. Dolly. Yes, thank you. Jim Dolly, Nola Drive. This evening I'd like to uh, nominate Doug Lawrence uh, to the role of uh, Board of Selectmen for the next three years. Uh, Doug, do I hear a second? Second. Okay. Uh, Doug is uh, presently chair of the Warrant Committee and worked very closely over some uh, really important issues for the town over the last couple of years. He's a fourth generation uh, Doverite, I should say, uh, married. Uh, him and his wife, Meredith, have uh, two boys and a girl. The girl's three months old, Doug, right? Three Thank you, thank you, Doug. But I, I highly recommend Doug for the role of selection. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Dolly. Mr. Lawrence? Thank you very much for the uh, nomination, Mr. Dolly. Um, first of all, I want to thank Mr. Dolly for all his years of public service to the town as a selectman, um, as a member of the Warren Committee, chair of the Warren Committee, and in various other capacities. Uh, for me, serving as selectman for the town of Dover would be an honor. As um, many of you know, um, I grew up in town, as did uh, people in the audience. I see a lot of people I know, a lot of familiar faces, people I'm looking forward to getting to know. And uh, serving on the Warren Committee has been a tremendous experience for me. Um, and I, when this opportunity opened up, I felt that it was something I just couldn't pass up and that I would like to serve the town in another capacity, um, take what I've learned on Warren, bring it to the Board of Selectmen, and uh, hopefully, um, hopefully I can um, get your vote come May. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lawrence. Are there any other nominations for this position on the Board of Selectmen? Okay, hearing none, I declare the nominations closed for the Board of Selectmen. The next position that we're going to consider is the Board of Assessors. There is one position for assessor, three-year term. Are there any nominations for the assessor position? Yes, sir. I'm Dave Stapleton, 17 Valley Road in Dover. Uh, I'm here to nominate for re-election Caroline White. Caroline and her husband have lived here for over 18 years. Uh, she has, I'm sure, fought many battles. She retired as the, as a, at a decade of superintendent of schools of Millis. She joined, uh, was voted into the uh, Board of Assessors uh, a few years ago this year. She is chair. She's well qualified from a financial standpoint in her background, and I would hope that you would vote for her, because I certainly would. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Stapleton. Do I hear a second? Second. Okay. Ms. White?
Thank you very much. Dave, I appreciate your confidence. It has been a real privilege to serve this community, first on the Warrant Committee and then the most recent six years for the Board of Assessors. I hope that you will consider me for your vote and I would like to thank everybody for their consideration of my candidacy. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. White. Are there any other nominations for the Board of Assessors? Hearing none, I declare the nominations for this position closed. Next, we will be considering the Dover School Committee. One position is open for a three-year term. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, two positions are open for a three-year term. We will consider nominations for each position one at a time. So with respect to the first position, are there any nominations? Yes, ma'am. Hi, at Brooke Mattery, 7 Windsor Road. I'm a current Dover School, School Committee member. First, I'd like to nominate Adrian Hill for a second term on the Dover School Committee. Um, he's not here tonight, so I'll tell you a little bit about him. Adrian has lived at 24 Saddle Ridge since 2001. They have two boys in the Dover Public Schools. Um, and he's also on the Board of Trustees for the library. He sent me an impressive CV, which I'll give you some highlights. Um, He's on the advisory board of Reach Beyond Domestic Violence and also the North American Advisory Board of the Queens College, Oxford University, and is one of the current co-presidents of the Dover Sherburn Soccer Club. Um, I will speak personally. I've worked with Adrian for the last year. I found him to be extremely intelligent, measured, thoughtful, incredibly passionate about chickering and students, and I would um, consider him an invaluable asset to the Dover School Committee. So, Thank you. Do I hear a second? second. Okay, Adrian Hill? Uh, okay, so you'll be accepting a nomination on that. Yes. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, are there any other nominations then for the first position on the school committee? Okay, hearing none, I declare nominations for the first position closed. We will now be entertaining nominations for the second position on the school committee. Yes. I would, uh, Brooke Mattery, 7 Windsor Road. I would also like to um, nominate Michael Jaffe for the Dover School Committee. He's um, at 11 Schaffner Lane, has two boys in Dover Sherburn Schools, um, and this year served on the Chickering School Advisory Committee. He had come from New Jersey, um, where he also served on school committees, and um, prior to moving to Dover in August of this year, last year, he and his family traveled the world for 15 months. Um, and, and then lived in Colorado uh, prior to that. He, his business background um, is in multinational renewable energy and commercial real estate, and he would be a great asset to the Dover School Committee as well. Thank you. Do I hear a second? Okay, uh, nomination has been second. Uh, seconded. Are there any other nominations for this second position on the School Committee? Hearing none, I declare nominations for this position closed. Okay. Uh, well, oh, well uh, now we will now be accepting nominations for the Dover Sherbin Regional School Committee. Are there, are there any nominations? Yes, Ms. Hunter. Robin Hunter, 32 Cedar Hill Road. I would like to nominate Dana White for the open position at the Regional School Committee. Dana has served on the Regional School Committee for four years. She has served a full term and filled a term of somebody who is leaving. She has done a tremendous job in her role as school committee, regional school committee. She has worked on their capital subcommittee budget, budgeting committee, which has really been instrumental and in given both Chickering and the regional school a way to assess capital. I, I urge all of you to vote for Dana. In this position, I think you know another three years would be invaluable to the regional school committee. Thank you. Do I hear a second? Okay, the nomination has been seconded. Are there any other positions for this three-year term on the Dover Regional School Committee? Hearing none, I declare nominations for this position closed. Okay, next we will be considered. Do you need me to accept for her? Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So I'll accept. Okay, thank you for accepting. Appreciate it. Next, we have two positions for library trustee. 
uh, two positions for library trustee. Each will be for three years. Um, I will now accept nominations for the first position as library trustee. Yes. Good evening. I'm Ann Coster, 13 Hartford Street, and I'm the co-chair of the Library Board of Trustees. Um, I'm here tonight and very happy to nominate Mark Bush for re-election as a library trustee. Mark lives at 81 Haven Street with his wife Kate and two kids, Aiden and Annabelle. He's served for six years as a trustee and also serves on the Open Space Committee. Mark is a pleasure to work with on the Board of Trustees, experienced, thoughtful, and dedicated. The trustees are delighted that Mark will run to serve for another three years on the board. Unfortunately, he could not be here tonight, um, but he thanks you for your consideration and I know he asks for your vote in May. Thank you. Do I hear a second from Mr. Bush? Okay, nomination has been seconded. Are there any other nominations for this position on the library trustee? <coughs> Okay, hearing none, I declare nominations for the first position of library trustee closed. And you will accept the nomination, right? Uh, there were, we now will be considering nominations for the second position of library trustee, also a three year term. Yes. Hi, Judy Schultz of 25 Saddle Ridge Road. I am here to nominate. Adrian Hill for re-election to the Board of Trustees of the Library. Uh, you've heard some wonderful things from Brooke about Adrian, and I will add that um, Adrian works as an independent consultant to institutions in Europe, Africa, and North America after his 20-year career in investment banking in London, New York, and Boston. He is a citizen of the United States and also of the United Kingdom, and he is married to Susan Petrovic and they both love living in Dover very much and feel lucky to be part of this fine community. So. Do I hear a second? Okay, nomination has been seconded. He's not here, so I will accept Okay, him. accept the yeah. nomination. Thank you. Are there any other nominations? Okay, hearing none, I declare nominations for this position closed. Next, we will be considering uh, the Cemetery Commission. There's one position open, it's a three-year term. Any nominations for a Cemetery Commission? Yes, sir, Mr. Hoffman. Uh, Pope Hoffman, 12 Rocky Brook Road, and I'm nominating Helena Wild Swinney of uh, 149 Dedham Street. She's a lifelong resident of Dover, and I'm nominating her for a three-year term as Cemetery Commissioner. Lynn has served on the commission for the past 14 months, and during this time has proven to be an invaluable member. She has been instrumental in planning the meditation garden uh, being constructed at the back of the cemetery, and has been the point person for coordinating the upkeep of the trees and grounds with the respective companies doing that type of work. She's also been very active in delving into the history of Highland Cemetery, and because of this, we decided that it was prudent to have the property resurveyed last year. Uh, Lena is an archaeologist, and as such, brings a uh, unique perspective to the commission. And both Carol and I look forward to working with her in the coming in the coming years. I hope a nomination will be favorably acted upon. Second. Okay, nomination has been seconded. Um, would you like to say a few words, Pope, on behalf of the candidate? Or uh, well, I. Just have, but okay. Uh, <laughs> well, in that case, will you accept? Uh, Lynn has asked me to accept her nomination because she's not here tonight. Okay, thank you. Okay. Are there any other nominations for this position, Cemetery Commission? Hearing none, I declare nominations for this position closed. Okay, we have two positions on the planning board one is a three year term and one is a five year term. We will first be considering nominations for the three year term. Are there any nominations for the planning board for the three-year term? Yes, Mr. Faulkner. Good evening. I'm Henry Faulkner, 55 Haven Street, and member of the planning board. I'd like to nominate uh, Carol Lisbon for the three-year term. Carol was appointed to the board last year when uh, Jane Remsen moved out of town and uh, has so has served with us for almost a year and I think as all of all of you who know Carol 
She gets uh, very actively involved in whatever she's participating in, and she really does her homework. So she's been a terrific asset to the planning board, and I hope you will vote for her for the remainder of Jane's term, three years. Thank you. Do I hear a second? Okay. Um, thank you, Ms. Lisbon. Thank you, Henry. You know, when I was approached uh, by Mark Sarrow uh, to see if I'd be interested in, in filling Jane's term, not her shoes, but her term, um, he said, you know, the planning board, it's sort of a quiet board. It just, you know, uses the bylaws to address sign regulations, occasional subdivision here and there. Of course, my first meeting was on Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> Anyway, it has been uh, a fascinating nine to ten months uh, working with a wonderful, wonderful committee. So um, I look forward um, um, at your discretion to uh, fulfilling Jane's term for another three years. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any other nominations for the first position, which is a three-year term? Hearing none, I declare nominations for this position closed. The second position on the planning board is for a five-year term. Are there any nominations for this position? Mr. Faulkner. Henry Faulkner again. I'd like to nominate Mark Saro for the five-year term for the planning board. Do I hear a second? Second. Okay. Thank you. Mark has uh, been on the board now for uh, two terms, 10 years. And during seven of those years, he has served as chairman, which uh, is a definitely a more demanding position on the planning board than the others. And he has shown that uh, he also does his homework and uh, t since he chairs nearly all of the meetings, he, we really get to see him in action uh, running some, sometimes contentious meetings. And Mark is very fair, very calm, and really uh, helps run an orderly and, and fair meeting. Um, so I hope very much that you will support Mark for another five-year term. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Feigner. Are there any other nominations for this position? Mr. Sarrell, would you like to say a few words? I thought you might want to sit after seven years as the chair. <laughs> <laughs> right, about, yeah, no, thank you, Jim. Uh, thank you, Henry. I appreciate the nomination, and thanks uh, for the vote of confidence of the caucus. Um, yeah, the planning board is a, is a fantastic board. The work is really interesting. It's important work for the town. I've enjoyed it a lot. I've enjoyed getting to work with many of you on other boards and committees that the planning board works with as well. Um, two terms, 10 years does sound like an awful long time, but really when you break it down, I mean, the first term is spent learning what the planning board does. Uh, the second term is spent actually getting something done. I view the third term as probably getting more things done well and also um, passing along along with Henry, who's been there longer than I, um, passing along the institutional knowledge we have of, of the planning board. Uh, the other members of the board, we've had a lot of turnover lately and it's a fantastic board. Uh, the other members have all been there for two years or less. So. That's what I look forward to doing this time around. Um, you hear what a, what a nice, quiet board it is. And I, in full disclosure, only told Carol uh, the board was quiet relative to selectmen. So <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sarrow. Any other nominations for this position, the five-year term? Hearing none, I declare nominations for this position closed. Next, we will be considering one three-year term for the Board of Health. Are there any nominations for this position? None. None for the Board of Health. Okay. Uh, next, we have two positions for Parks and Recreation. Both are for three years. Are there any nominations for the first position for Parks and Recreation? Note, by the way, I have not closed nominations for the Board of Health. So if somebody wants to sneak out uh, where you get some cell phone coverage and call somebody that you think might be interested in serving on the Board of Health, please feel free to do so. I will not in any way take it as an insult if you get up and walk out to use your cell phone. Hint, hint. Okay. <laughs> All right. Parks and Recreation, two positions, uh, each a three-year term. Nominations for the first position, sir. Chris Bolin, Tower Drive. I'd like to re uh, nominate Eric Loeffler for uh, a position on Park and Rec. Um, Eric has already served one full term. 
um, and has been a valuable addition to the team. We've had some positive turnover on the uh, commission over the last few years, and Eric's been a great addition. Um, in addition to having uh, four children in the Dover Sherburne schools and the recreation activities, um, Eric is also uh, an attorney and brings a good uh, even uh, keel and, and mindset to the park side of, of our operation. And uh, in that capacity, Eric has also been the liaison to the uh, um, to the Open Space Committee. That's what it is. And so I'd, I'd like to nominate Eric. Thank you. Do I hear a second? Second. Okay, nomination has been seconded. Sir, would you like to say a few words? Good evening. Thank you. Eric Loeffler. I'm at 2 Sherbrooke Drive. As Chris mentioned, I have uh, four children, all in the Dover Sherburne schools. Um, I've served as a member of the Parks and Rec Commission for one term, and this will be my second term, and I've really enjoyed my time serving on there. I think it's a, a wonderful resource for the town and something that my own kids benefit from and like to see uh, that continue in the future and, and, and see that the programs thrive um, and that the commission um, continues to do great work. So I look for your support and thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Are there any other nominations for this first position for a three-year term for Parks and Recreation? Hearing none, I declare nominations for this position closed. We'll now move to the second position on Parks and Recreation, also a three-year term. Are there any nominations? Yes, sir. Hi. Uh, good evening again. Eric Loeffler, 2 Sherbrooke Drive. I'd like to nominate Chris Boland of One Tower Drive. Uh, for the three-year term as a member of the Parks and Rec Commission. Uh, this would be Chris's third term on the Parks and Rec Commission. He is currently serving as the chairman uh, of the commission, and I can say that over my last three years, I think he's done, uh, it's been a real pleasure to work with him. I think he's done a great job, and he's shown real leadership in that position. Uh, Chris also has four, four kids, um, so like myself, his kids uh, benefit from the programs of Parks and Rec, and uh, He's been a real um, asset and value to the commission in the town of Dover, and I'd uh, look for your support for Chris as well. Thank you. Thank you. Do I hear a second? Yeah. Nomination has been seconded. Are there any other nominations for this second position for a three-year term? Okay. Hearing none, I declare nominations for this position closed. Next, we have three positions that are open for constable. Each is a three-year term, so we'll proceed seriatim through each position. Nominations for the first position for constable, three-year term. Yes, ma'am. Bonnie Aikens, 18 Greystone Road. It is my pleasure to nominate Peg Crowley for her umpteenth term as a constable. <laughs> we can research just how many there are. I know everyone loves to see her shining face at elections. And she keeps real calm at town meetings, right, Peg? I urge your support for Peg. Do I hear a second? Yes. Ms. Crowley, would you like to say a few words? It's my favorite job, and I do hope you'll support me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Are there any other nominations for this first position of uh, town constable? Hearing none, I declare nominations for this position closed. Now to the second position, also a three-year term. Are there any nominations? Ms. Crowley. Peg Crowley, 7 Cedar Hill Road. I'm delighted tonight to nominate Andre Boudreau for a three-year term as constable. Andre was born and brought up in Dover as a graduate of Dover Sherburn High School. She currently lives on Main Street with his wife, Elizabeth, and their two children. He is a very successful owner of a very successful local business, which is nice. Um, he's very committed to the town of Dover. Many of you will remember him from previous town meetings when he was coordinating the Boy Scout pages for many years. So he's well uh, versed in how town meetings go. So I would urge you to support Andre. Thank you. Thank you. Do I hear a second? All right, nomination has been seconded. Mr. Boudreau? Thank you, Peg. Andre Boudreau, 72 Main Street. Um, 
I have grown up in town. I've lived here about 40 years. And when I was a kid, I did go to town meeting for the Boy Scouts, for the Dover Explorers. And I always looked to, for example, like Chief Sheridan back there, who used to be the constable. I never understood what that position was, but I was kind of was one of those things you look at and you say to yourself, wow, that's someone who's authority. I don't look to be the authority person, but I look to be um, something I can do to help the town continue in that service. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Boudreau. Are there any other nominations for this second position, town constable, three-year term? Hearing none, I declare nominations for this position closed. Last position is also for town constable, three-year term. Do I hear any nominations? Yes, Ms. Crowley. I would like to nominate Bill Hurd for a three-year term as constable. This would be his second term as constable. And I would uh, ask for your support for Bill. He's not here tonight. Okay. Uh, do I hear a second? Second. And Ms. Crowell, you will accept the nomination on his behalf? Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Any other nominations for the third position, three-year term, town constable? Hearing none, I declare nominations for this position closed. I would now like to return to the Board of Health position. Again, we have one position open, three-year term. Are there any nominations for the Board of Health? Okay, hearing none, I declare nominations for this position closed at Town Caucus. Remember, if people are interested, they can still take out papers for this position. Okay, since we do not have more than two persons for each position, I would like to direct the caucus clerk, Beth, to cast one ballot for the caucus, which reflects the names put forward tonight. Thank you. A reminder, town meeting will be Monday, May 2nd and May 3rd, if we have to extend it, which I hope we won't. And, and town elections are Monday, May 16th, from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Registration for both will be accepted by the town registrars until Tuesday, April 12th, 2016. So if you have somebody at home who's old enough to vote and they haven't registered yet, they will have until April 12th, 2016 to register. I would like to ask all nominees to please sign the caucus certificate and pick up campaign finance materials from the town clerk before you leave the hall tonight. Do I have a motion to adjourn the caucus? Do I hear a second? All in favor, say aye. All opposed? I think it carries unanimously. Thank you. Have a good night and thank you for your service.